Just after 10.30, hundreds of workers walked out into an uncertain future. Their plant is being closed, their jobs are being axed. No one expected the industrial dispute at Grangemouth to flare up quite like this. There's quite a lot of boys sending CVs off to places at oil rigs and emigrating. The business community, I believe, rely on the people that work here because they put their money back into the community. <sighs> Just have to get on right now. Not much you can do. The Grangemouth complex has two parts, a petrochemical plant and an oil refinery. And it's the chemical plant that's being closed, putting 800 people out of a job. But the refinery's future is also uncertain. Another 700 people are employed there. The complex supplies oil to Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. And if the whole site shut, it could cause fuel shortages and add up to 10 pence to the price of a litre. The company which runs it says the chemical plant can't survive without expensive investment, which it would only make if the workers accepted a so-called survival plan, which would downgrade their pensions and freeze their pay. That was put to a vote on Monday night. There was a clear message from the union, but also from the employees, particularly the operating side of the employees, that they did not support the survival plan, which involved putting another £300 million into the assets. The speculation this afternoon, who might want to buy the chemical business? But that talk's premature, according to the First Minister, who wants another conversation between the management and the union. Let's first concentrate on bringing the two parties together and make that one final effort and not accept that this is a done deal that the Grangemouth has written off. It's a very serious situation, but we've got to fight for the future of Grangemouth. That's a fight which Westminster will be watching too. If the oil refinery business were to go down and the tankers stopped coming, it wouldn't take long for the economic fallout to drift south of the border. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.